Hello, welcome to our quick start guide to the new functions of Platoon version 1.5. I want to showcase you how easy it is to achieve this flicker effect on an EPS layer. And to showcase you that, first we have a black background, which simply has Platoon on it. And we put as texture this uh, concrete background and uh, simply put it into a 3D layer put a light in the scene and that's the background and for this logo we have an EPS file and we have two platoon instances on it. So this is how it looks if you put that into your comp and let's bring platoon to it. Double click on platoon in your effects and presets tab. It starts to texturize that with a checker pattern. We want to have some kind of grungy look in to the logo so I go to the grunge patterns. Let me choose this one for example to give him a little cool um, surface and next is I need a second platoon instance. I will simply duplicate the platoon effect by string D on the keyboard and make a copy and let's try this uh, glitch lines here for example this one here and you will see it automatically starts texturizing your EPS layer with this file but we don't like to see the texture we only like the texture to drive the glitch effect for that I bring down the opacity so the old texture shines through the platoon instance and let's go to the glitch section and simply hit activate. That's mainly all to do for uh, achieving a glitch effect. You have several parameters here for shift the pixels in each direction and to uh, control the glitch frequency it means the time, the speed, the glitch will happen on this layer. Of course you can tint the RGB files, uh, the RGB channels into uh, channels of your choice so that can you, that gives you the option to um, tint the glitch effect to your design, to your uh, color range. We leave it as it is for this and the next thing is we like to displace the glitch also. For that we go to the displace modifier and simply activate that. If you do so, you will see nothing happens and this is because you have to drive the progress. Here we go. And if you drive the, the progr progress, you will see it starts to displace the image according to the map input. Okay? You have a direction control center to control the direction of the, the displacement. In our case, I like to have it something like so. And next is we like to randomize that and I want to have it in the opposite direction. For that simply click the reverse and you will see it reverses the direction of the displacement. And to get some randomness we simply put in a little expression on the progress. You Alt stopwatch click on Windows or Command on Mac and simply type in wiggle parentheses 4 comma 24 close parentheses and that's mainly it. Now you have a randomizing movement of the displacement and also it glitches. The next thing we like to have is this flickering of the effect and the displacement. For that we have a flicker modifier inside of Platoon. Simply activate that and you will see it will start to flicker according to the speed of the flicker. And of course you can uh, bring in some randomness and some random, random intensity if you like to random this. Okay, so what we want is we only want to flicker the effect for that. A simple cheat. I simply duplicate this layer, string D on the keyboard. I have a second uh, layer here. Simply let me hide the effect and now this layer stays always here and we only have the flicker on the effect. Here we go. So it's up to you if you like to flicker the whole thing or only the effect but this is how easy it is to use Platoon as texturizing plugin also as glitch and displacement and flicker uh, uh, plugin and uh, stay tuned for our next tutorials where we explain the turbulence modifier and the texture swap modifier which are also new to Platoon. 
Otherwise, make sure to uh, check the in-depth tutorial to Platoon version 1.0, which has all the main functions in it. See you in the next time. My name is Oliver. Bye.